The 11th edition of Global Video Media Forum has concluded in Beijing, China. 140 delegates from different countries participated in the forum, which was held on October 13th. Sun Hai Song, Vice Minister of Publicity Department of Chinese Communist Party, and Sun Yan Li, Vice Minister of the Publicity Department of Chinese Communist Party and Minister of State Council Information Office of China, attended and addressed the forum. The forum was held on the occasion of 10th anniversary of Belt and Road Initiative proposed by the Chinese President Xi Jinping, emphasized the vision for a shared future. 75 media heads of international media from 49 countries participated in the forum. Prakash Babu Podel, chairman of Ray Television SD of Nepal, also participated in that forum. Short documentaries, television shows, films, and short videos related to the new Silk Road were screened at the forum. In the same forum, in the short documentary competition related to Belt and Road Initiative, Pokhara International Airport, linking tourism and culture made by Ray Television, won the title of Outstanding Silk Road Story. Prakash Babu Podel, chairman of Ray Television, who participated in the forum and won the title, expressed his happiness and said that the forum was very beneficial and educational. Uh, I just back from Beijing, China. I participated in Global Video Media Forum 2023 in Beijing, capital city of China. The Global Video Media Forum remained very, very successful. It was our first participation. The forum was held on 13th October and um, uh, Mr. Shen Hai Xiang, who is the Vice Minister of the Publicity Department of the CPC Central Committee and also President and Editor-in-Chief of China Media Group, addressed the forums. And similarly, uh, Mr. Sun Ye Li, uh, who is the Vice Minister of the Publicity Department of the CPC Central Committee, and Minister of the State Council Information Office of China also addressed the forum. The both um, distinguished guests highlight on the Belt and Road Initiatives, its 10th anniversary achievements, and what China expects in the future, or what China proposing share future a good share picture to the mankind in coming futures through the Belt and Road Initiatives. The forum remained very, very um, successful, as I already mentioned. Um, we agreed to draft on the agenda, which is launch of declaration on the joint action from Belt and Road Media Organizations. It is very important and um, we also got an opportunity to express our, our views on Belt and Road Initiatives and uh, Nepal-China friendship and then the possibilities of the cooperation between CCTV Plus and um, Ray Televisions. And uh, I would like to um, give my sincere appreciations and thanks to Mr. Kao Wei, um, Managing Director of CCTV, and he is also Editor-in-Chief of CCTV Plus, and Madam Licia, Executive Deputy General Manager of CCTV Plus. I had a uh, wonderful meetings with both of them, and uh, we discussed on the possible cooperation in coming days and uh, I have invited them to Nepal uh, to visit us, to see how we are working, and uh, see the possibilities, especially to make a documentary on the adventure um, sports, adventure tourism, and then the cultural uh, affairs. We have great scope of uh, making documentaries in uh, these topics. And um, we also 
uh, discuss on the uh, possible cooperation on um, trainings, networking, and exchange of delegation in uh, coming years. Uh, so finally, what I would like to uh, say that uh, the um, forum remained very, very successful. And it's a very a good achievement for us. We joined first time uh, in the like a video competition. There were the participation uh, from the different um, television sta television uh, channels uh, like the Global Short Video Showcase, uh, which is on the theme of Vision for Shared Future. So we also join in the competition, and uh, I'm pleased to show you that we got this trophy and this is an uh, award to us as outstanding Silk Road story. So we presented a um, documentary based on the Pukhara International Airport which connect tourism and culture. So I would like to invite you to see our documentaries that will be uploaded very soon. So once, once again, Thank you so much. I'm so inspired after the Global Video Media Forums 2023. Delegates participating in the forum were united in promoting a more diverse, inclusive and healthy media landscape. A declaration on joint action from Belt and Road Media Organization released at the forum, which is considered as the main achievement of the forum. Global cooperation programs and Middle East Media Alliance were also launched at the forum. Participants of the forum believed that the Belt and Road project will promote the exchange and development of the media in news, reporting, technical innovation, video production and other fields in future. Prakash Babu Podel, President of Ray Television SD, Gegairo Najda, Executive Officer of African Union of Broadcasting, Ahmad Nadim, Secretary General of Asia Pacific Union, Mohammad Jalal Al Rashi, Deputy General of Emirates News Agency, Koro No, Managing Director of National Broadcasting Corporation of Papua New Guinea, Adrian Wells, Managing Director of Union News Exchange, and Lan He Chao Pao, Executive Editor Han Yong, attended the forum. Representative of Associated Press, Reuters, the Latin American Press Union, the Arab State Broadcasting Union, the People's World Uzbekistan, MTV Russia participated in the forum through video. On the same occasion, Prakash Babu Podel, chairman of Ray Television SD, had a blatter and meeting with managing director and editor of CCTV Plus, Ga Wain, and executive deputy general manager, Li Xiao. During the meeting, President Powell and the CCTV representative discussed on various issues of exchange and media partnership between two media houses in the future.